Hello you beautiful, beautiful people. Series 12 has arrived in Forza Horizon 5 which means we got a brand new festival playlist and we are kicking things off by jumping into this week's Forza Sun Challenges Arbalist. We are going to be grabbing 160 of Forza Sun points and the 5 points needed towards our festival playlist. So if you are new to the channel definitely consider subscribing, share the video with a friend, smash that like button. Without further ado let's jump into this week's Forza Sun Challenges. We are going to kick off today's video by checking out this week's Summer Forza Pond shop. For 600 of Forza Pond points, we have the 2008 Koenigsegg CC GT. 400 of Forza Pond points, the awesome Ferrari F12 TDF. For 75 of Forza Pond points each, we've got the Farid Ruder Bear Sundress and the Parade Carhorn. And as always, if you've got any spare Forza Pond points knocking around, grab yourself a normal wheel spin for 60 Forza Pond points, or you can grab a super duper wheel spin. 150 for some points. Now the Ferrari F12 TDF can be picked up at the Auto Show for 500,000 credits, so I would save the four some points on that one. But the Koenigsegg CCGT is not available at the Auto Show. The only place you're going to get it is through a reward in the playlist, or through wheel spins, or here in the four some shop. So definitely worth spending the 600 four some points. Now, as always, with my Thursday weekly Forza on videos, we will be coming back to the festival players at the end to check out all the rewards available in summer. But first, we'll jump in and get the weekly Forza on challenges our ballast completed, kicking things off with Chapter 1, Track Weapon. Own and drive the 2013 KTM Expo R, an ultralight sports car designed for both road and track use. And this is it, the 2013 KTM Expo R, the car we're going to need to complete this week's Forza Pond challenges will set you back 105,000 credits from the auto show. As always, I do have a tune available for download if you guys wish to use it. Search my game tag Skippy4631. Share code is in the description and in the comments below. Own and drive, hop outside any festival site or player house, drive two seconds down the road, and trap weapon complete. So, with chapter one completed, it is on to chapter two, right on target. Keep your foot down to earn a total of 12 stars from Speed Traps in the 2013 KTM Expo R. Now for this chapter, head on into your map and then filter by Speed Traps, just making them a little bit easier to see and find. You can use any Speed Trap on the map that you like. You can even use a combination of Speed Traps. But I'm going to be heading here to Guanajuato and I'm going to be using the Caljon Speed Trap. 160 mile an hour, 3 star objective. Here we go then, 12 stars in total from Speed Traps, and all I'm going to do is run backwards and forwards through the same camera, earning those stars. Now I'm pretty sure we're only going to get the two star objective, which we are, 139 miles an hour, so that is two stars towards our 12. We're going to flick the KTM round, give it the beans, and head back through the camera, hopefully getting another two stars, which we do at 129 this time. So that's four stars towards our 12 star objective. But once again, flicking the KTM round and hitting the camera once again. Here we go then, final run in the KTM Expo on this camera to get the final two stars we need to complete this chapter. And that is 129, the last two stars. I'm gonna wait for the notification. There it is, right on target, complete. So chapter two completed, it is on to chapter three carbon tub. The 2013 KTM Expo R has a rigid chassis featuring a carbon fibre monocoque and roll bars, so earning 5 air skills should be no problem. Now this is one of those chapters that can be completed absolutely anywhere within the free roam map, as long as you've got a jump to get some air in your KTM Expo. But to make things easy, I'm going to head on over to Dunas Blancus and I'm going to be using the sand dunes. So I'm pretty sure we all know how to get an air skill by now, we just need to take the KTM Expo off of a jump. Air skill, great air skill, awesome air skill and ultimate air skill are all going to count towards this chapter. So hit some jumps, hit some lumps, get your KTM airborne, get those five air skills. And after not very long at all, carbon tub complete. So with chapter three completed, it is on to our fourth and final chapter this week, Quirrell Rake. Enjoy the speed and agility of the 2013 KTM Expo R and use it to achieve victory in a road race. 
Once again, and for the final time this week, we are heading on into the map, but this time we are filtering by road racing events, just to make them a little bit easier to see and find. Any road race will do, sprint or circuit, it is entirely up to you, but I'm going to head up to the northeast, and I'm going to be using Riviera Sprint. Where I have created a cheeky blueprint for you guys to use called Force Upon Chapter 4. If you want to use it, just search my game tag Skippy4631 or use the share code 12377888882. Now, as we do need to win this race for Chapter 4 and the driver's hard difficulty does not affect the races for the weekly Force Upon challenges, there's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. I'm going to go New Racer. Here we go then, just the one road race for chapter four. And being on the new racer, this should be a nice cruise to the finish. On to the final straight of this race. Coming up to the line, that is first place, chapter four completed. So after winning that road race, that is chapter four completed, which finishes off this week's Forces on Challenges Arbalist. And because I've completed a road racing event in a track toy, I have actually finished this week's treasure hunt clue fast track. All I've got to do now is find that treasure. So by completing chapter four, you do complete two objectives in one. And of course, also we grab the five points needed towards the summer wet season by completing the weekly fours upon challenges. Now onto the rewards for the summer season, but first we do have brand new rewards for the overall series completion, the Horizon Road Trip. We've got 260 points up for grabs over the four seasons. For 80 of those points, you're grabbing the brand new to Forza Horizon 5, the fully electric Audi RS e-tron, and for 160 of those points, the awesome McLaren 765LT. Jumping in and taking a look at the summer wet season then, 65 points total up for grabs for 20 of those points, brand new to Horizon 5, previously available in Horizon 4, the Bentley Turbo R, that is a theme with Horizon 5 at the moment, and for 40 of those points, the NG MG3. This week's online trial on the road again is going to grab you the Aston Martin DB11. Event Lab is back on the Festival Players for Series 12, this one's going to grab you the white modern Pubella dress. Two PR stunts to go and complete, the Danger Sign Hotel and the Speed Trap Coast View, two Super Bowl spins up for grabs. But we do have four seasonal championships to go and complete. So the Colossus and the Road Endurance are like endurance races. The Colossus is just one race featuring the Colossus, BMW M4 2014 up for grabs. And Road Endurance is going to feature five races, Chevy Camaro 2015 up for grabs. Track Toy Story giving out the KTM Expo and Grand Tourers giving out the KTM R500 are our traditional seasonal championships featuring just three races. Challenges are back for the summer season. One treasure hunt called Fast Track, 100 force bomb points. This week's photo challenge, Apex Superstars giving out the Star 27 Jumper. And this week's Horizon Open Challenges, a winner is you. You are a winner for the link chat phrase. For anyone with the Hot Wheels DLC, one Drift Zone, Turbo Knot giving out one Super Wheel Spin, and the Seasonal Championship, Orange Track Mind, giving out the BMW M3 97. Brand new monthly rivals for Series 12. We've got the traditional monthly rivals in the brand new Audi RS7, and we've got the Forza EB rivals in the Audi e-tron GT. But there we go, that is all the rewards available for this week's Summer Festival playlist. If you've got any questions about the weekly Force of Thorn Challenges or the Festival Players, do hit me up in the comments. I'll always do my best to help you out. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. I will be live streaming the full Festival Players completion here on the channel in the next couple of days. But as always, stay safe guys and have an awesome day.